Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I have a really special one for you guys. I am collaborating with Vmode to create a digital twin. So I had the freedom to choose any themes or anything that I wanted to really recreate. And Vmode was kind enough to let me recreate a look from XG's new music video, Winter Without You. I thought it was a really cool vibe for the winter. I absolutely love every single outfit in the video. So I am taking inspiration from the videos from one of their outfits and I'm going to recreate create and make a digital twin. So I hope you enjoy the content and I'm really really happy to show you guys all the fabrics and different elements that they have on the website that can help you guys create perfect and really realistic outfits in Cool 3D, Marvelous or any other software really. Thank you again Vmode for collaborating with me in this video and for always having awesome digital fabrics on your library. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long video. So just grab a coffee, a snack and let's just learn how to make a digital twin from scratch. So before I add any more details, I'm going to start looking for the textures for this and we're going to start implementing them so I can show you guys how to do that. So as I said before, this is a collab with Vmode, so I'm going to try to use their fabrics or fabricate them with their Fabricator AI tool and let's see how it goes. So I'm going to try to find a fur on the 3D library first. So digital fabrics, here you find a variety of fabrics. I'm just going to type fur and see what they have and you can just scroll through the library and find the one that fits the profile that you're looking for. This one's not too bad. I'm gonna make it white, so don't worry about, you know, how it looks right now. It's actually like a pretty thick looking fur. So let's see if we can find something like that. Oh, this one, this one's a good option. Let me do that. You can just kind of go and open a new window, new tab to save that up. Okay. This one looks very thick as well, but it's not as long, I think. Yeah, this one looks good because I think there's like the, this long texture around her head. Yeah, so those are the furs they have. I think this one will be good. So I'm going to download this one. So you just click on purchase. You're going to have to have like credits, like a subscription. And I just click download. I'll make sure it's on ZFab for Clo. That's the type of format for Clo. Hi and download. I copy this file then and I put it on my assets file inside clothes. So where is my materials, fabrics, and just put it in here. I'm going to go back here and look for that fabric. There we go. And then I'm just going to add that to my fabrics. There it is. Um, so it's currently with that color that they have on the website. So I'm just going to desaturate this make sure this is on fur render only and just gonna make this white obviously make sure it's white and I'm gonna add that to the hat so this is the hat bring it down a bit and make sure that's that fabric okay it has like a texture it's on the render it's going to give us the actual fur. So I'm going to start a render for us to see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I think it looks really cool. Um, just make sure you have the thickness up and that everything facing out is the actual front of the fabric. If not, it's just going to show, you know, the back of the fur. So just make sure everything is correct like that. But I think it looks really good. It gives the same idea as her hat. And yes, it has a pretty good length to be very fluffy. So I think this is a good fabric for it. And now let's look for the rest of the things. Let's look maybe for the crochet for her top. Let me see. Go up again and let's just take this away, clear. And I'm just going to type crochet. Let's see what they have. Crochet can be very, very hard to find. It is like a very simple kind of crochet knitted. So we're going to try to look for something like that. 
Don't mind the colors because we can always desaturate them and take the color away, especially for a look like that, that is all white. And even if it's not, you can add a color on top of desaturated fabric, so. Or even change the colors of each part of the pattern. To try to help yourself, you can try to add some more details. So the search is a little bit, you know, more precise. Just knit, see what that gives us. So colorful. Like this could work if it's all white. Yeah, this could definitely work. Yeah. Okay, I really like that one. I'll just make it all white. Okay, this one looks good too. You know, you put the search up, but you have to kind of do the the groundwork and look for yourself as well. Just kind of go through them and find the best one. This one is cute because it has like different types, like this type and this type. Okay, so purchase, download again, just like we did before. Crochet, stripes. There we go. I do like that it has the stripes, like two types of material because it's kind of the same here. Like this is different than this. So at least it gives the same idea. And just keep it in white. All of these. Where did it go? Oh, this is it here. Just because I, I didn't change the name. And let's take the freeze so we can actually see. Yeah, cute. Okay. I just think I need to change the direction here. Yeah, this needs to be this way. And maybe a little bigger. I'm gonna try to find the other texture for her shorts. Is that kind of fur? I think it's like a Sherpa. We can try to look that up. Yeah, this is the kind of fabric for her shorts. Maybe the fluffiest one I can find. So this one. No, a bit flat. Okay, this one. Same thing. And shorts. Oh, let me take the layer away as well. Okay, cute. Obviously fur we only see on the render. Almost there for the textures. Okay, so for the crochet with the heart, I'm going to use the AI fabricator, but I'm going to add my own swatch. So I just think is is a simpler way to use the AI fabricator. You don't have to prompt as much. You can find a reference photo online or you can have your own fabrics from home, take a photo and use your own swatch. And just because I think the crochet with the heart is probably gonna be very difficult to prompt correctly, I'm going to be using this feature instead for it. So I found a nice picture online for the heart and I'm gonna use that as my swatch just make sure is a nice big format very high resolution so we can use that and you just add that photo and use your swatch and then we'll be able to make it seamless we'll be able to make it very high quality high resolution and that's what I got and we are going to make this into a seamless pattern so let's just maybe break it down just select a good part and we'll make this seamless okay looks good to me just click next and i'm gonna do a nice 4k resolution no metallic so you can see here it gives everything else but the alpha so we're gonna have to generate that okay we have all the Maps, download zip file, and I'm gonna add those textures that we just downloaded. They do give you two normal maps, so make sure you get, you have the right one. They give you the textures two ways. So I want the hearts to be out, displacement, and then for the alpha map, I'm just going to use the website called Normal Map Online and 
going to make my alpha map and just going to download that and we're going to add this here and that should be our alpha map and apply and close it's far too big let's just make this smaller a lot smaller and maybe put in the actual big socks thing there you go maybe like that and then let me just copy this um and make it a very tiny version of that to put on put it here so this one's gonna go there and we're gonna make it very very small so it looks more dense okay and obviously make it all white so desaturate it and then i'm gonna make the normal map and displacement map more intense Okay, so now I'm gonna try to generate the cable knit thing for her top. I think that one's gonna be particularly hard to get it right, but let's just try. Create cable knit texture fabric and white. See if that works. Fabric type. Pretty cool. Like this is what I wanted the fabric to do. So I might cut a little bit of it here. Just keep this part and try to use this. Oh, I like the second one. Yes, this kind of has the effect that I wanted. Okay, go with this one. Thank you. Okay, make it seamless, please. Next, 2K, 4K, 4K, please. And then we're gonna add to the top here. Okay, far too big. Let's make it smaller, something like that. And I feel like it could be in the other direction. Yeah, something like that. Make it white. Gonna make the normal map. Let's put more shadow in this. Okay. And what's this brightness? So I guess we see how this all looks like simulated. Okay, so I changed from white to this beige color because on the photos you can tell this is white, but this is kind of like beige. And this is how the current render is looking like. I think all the fabrics are doing what they're supposed to do. This one that was made with the fabricator also looks really cool. This one as well, which was made with the swatch also using the fabricator looks cool as well so i think this video is already pretty long the process as you guys know can be very very long so i'm just going to finish all the details and everything else off camera and i'm going to be posting the turntable video or animation video or whatever i come up with at the end of this video so you guys can see the final result but this is mainly the base and the textures and in case you guys want to know more about the final touches the final details i can also make another video explaining more into detail what i do to finalize the outfits to simulate and to get it ready for images and animations so just let me know if you want to see that and that's it if you made it to the very end thank you so much i hope you enjoyed all the process i think it looks really cool and i cannot wait to see how the final animation is gonna look like i'm just as excited as you guys to see it thank you again vmode for sponsoring this video i absolutely love the platform i've been using it for the last two years and if you guys enjoyed it go check it out i think it's a really really good tool for any anyone looking to get in more into digital fashion and having an easier way to source and create your own digital fabrics. And if you guys want to see any more content, go check it out on Instagram and TikTok. Also join the Discord community if you guys want to talk more about Clothes 3D with other people. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Don't forget to use the link below to sign up and get a thousand free trial credits.